Hey guys, Dave Anderson, Helicool Helipad. Thanks for joining me today and thanks for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. Hey, today we're going to be showing some things on the Snorkel Air Cleaner and you'll be finding out some very cool things about this LMTV. So if you own one or not, you're just a military buff and just like to see this kind of stuff, you stay tuned. We're going to have some fun today. Well, I just got this rack from the neighbor. RV had to uh, downsize his garage a bit and I uh, bought this this uh, rack from him. It was a little rusty, but I painted it up. It's going to work just beautiful. Been putting a lot of the LMTV parts away. There's something I want to show you. Get this turned around. Yeah, wasps do find this a very lucrative place to make their nests. But that's not the main thing I want to show you. I noticed that the LMTV has swirl tubes, which also means that it has a plenum. Now, swirl tubes are very efficient. They, um, as the air passes through them, they swirl the dirt and dust and debris to the outside and that is collected in the plenum. The fresh, clean air uh, goes through, and once it's in the plenum, it goes out through this ejection port, and that ejection port goes all the way to the exhaust, and the dust and dirt gets flung out through the exhaust. But uh, this technology is in the aircraft that I use to fly, and it's also in uh, Dyson vacuum cleaners. They're very efficient. And we were told that if you're in a dusty environment, landing in a dusty environment, that you keep the RPM up at 100% until the dust cloud dissipates because the swirl tubes are more efficient when a lot of air is going through them. Um, and then we went to flight idle after the dust cloud dissipated. But this is a pretty cool feature in the LMTV. Yeah, it sure looks like uh, every once in a while <laughs> you need to come in here and vacuum this out. I mean, this is, this is pretty bad. A lot of bees, other kind of junk, grass, dirt. Nice to have this uh, clean every once in a while, huh? It's uh, pretty easy to get to. All you gotta do is um, loosen up this strap and uh, pop the snorkel off and I should be able to look right directly at the plenum. Yeah, it looks like Malachi's is about the same shape that, uh, that Patricia's was in. Um, you can see these swirl tubes. Um, you want to make sure that you're checking the leading edge of the swirl tube to see any erosion. And I don't expect to see any erosion on these. Uh, because, uh, well, it's only got 20,000 miles on it. Um, doesn't operate, uh, I don't think, in the dusty environment that helicopters would. Although, that might be a misnomer because I've seen them driving through some pretty bad stuff in convoys, so. But these all look to be in good shape. If you see one that's damaged, you're gonna wanna tape that over because uh, uh, silt and contaminants will actually flow through that. So um, any damaged ones, tape over it. And of course, don't be messing with these with a screwdriver. Uh, I'm just going to vacuum these out real quick and maybe uh, dust it off with a with a uh, paintbrush. That's looking a lot better. Doesn't look like any of them are clogged. I'll 
looks good. Now before you put this back on there, make sure there aren't any bees nests still left in here. Both sides. Tighten this bad boy back up. We'll be back in business. That was easy. While I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and pop this off and uh, check the uh, air filter for cleanliness. I know that I have a gauge up front, but uh, you know there were some bugs that kind of went through there. I'll bet you they're in the plenum, but I also just want to make sure that there's nothing else in here either. Well, I think it's a good thing that I checked because there's a bunch of uh, bees at the very bottom. And indeed, if you look up, there's the bottom of the plenum. And of course, air comes flying down uh, the center here. Whatever junk that gets thrown to the side gets ejected out through the um, ejection port which is uh, that other part that I showed you on Patricia. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this out, get rid of all this stuff, and uh, I think we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. All right, after doing a once over on the filter, vacuuming out, oh, one or two bees that were still stuck in this thing. Um, this looks in really good condition. Uh, the thing is monstrous. Um, so, time to put her back in. There she goes and she is set. Guys, it's just another thing that you need to be aware of. Clean that thing out every once in a while. You know, if those bees would have went through the engine, probably wouldn't have done any damage at all. But uh, there could be uh, small particulate matter, sand, tiny rocks, whatever. Um, I don't think it would actually get through this filter, but um, it's always best just to keep it clean. At least that's what I think. And it's easy maintenance to do. So take care of your LMTV and it'll take care of you. Well guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. I, uh, I appreciate you, uh, you watching and giving your support. Um, if you like this video, uh, go ahead and click on that, that thumbs up uh, right down below here and Leave a comment. It's pretty cool to see what you guys have to say. And I get plenty of tips. By no means am I the expert. But uh, I like to uh, show you what I'm doing with Malachi to help keep it up for the gospel mission. And uh, hey, come on back anytime. You guys are more than welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Ask your friends to subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. Be safe and God bless. Hey, if you guys recall about three episodes ago, I lost a 10 millimeter socket somewhere in this tall grass. It's time to find it.
Okay. <laughs> All right, here's a surefire way of finding what you're looking for. I'm looking for a socket. So I'm just gonna drop that down in there. Tune this to uh, zero discrimination and see what kind of tone it has. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. It's got to be right in here. Okay. Now we'll pull out this little guy. And it will, oh, there's some buzzing. Oh, there's the doggone thing right there. Ah, I finally found it. Woo! It's only been about two and a half weeks sitting in the tall grass. Ah, that's cool.